Hello, 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 brothers. How we doing? How we doing? Peace upon all of you. I pray you guys are all doing well. And 2019 is closing in on us, bro. It's closing in on us, brothers, man. How are we going to leave this year? Okay. Let's put some things in place. Let's say, no matter how my story ends this year, it was a good year. This is the year I put foundations down made some genuine changes that would affect and transform my life. This is our life, gentlemen. This is our life. We we'll only get one of them, you know? We gotta make sure they count. Part of how we do that is one of the most important things on this journey, man. Being productive. It's not simply just saying no PMO, no pornography, no masturbation, no orgasm. No. We have to say yes to life. Yes to a better life. Yes to improvement. Yes to self improvement, self development. Yes to changes that my life has changed to a point where I don't even care about pornography anymore. I don't need this stuff. I don't need it because I'm happy without it. That is what we need to focus on this year, putting those plans in place, okay? Because you don't know how effective you can be when you're properly productive, right? I say that because I know there are some of us, there are some of us in this community that even, even as addicts, you know, they're still able to be productive. They can still hold, you know, a well-paying job, you know? respectable career there's they're still their family like no one has discovered that they watch the stuff you know they still have wife and children that that love them and haven't realized wow this, this guy's severely addicted you know they're in their studies people that are studying and they're still able to maintain high grades and I say to those people that is amazing there's no way I could do what you're doing but if you once you remove it from your life you don't know how productive you can be I mean, someone like that, those levels of energy, right? That's, those are the, you know, the Nikola Teslas and the, the Isaac Newtons and the Albert Einsteins and stuff. Like, you're going at this, but you, you still have this crippling addiction that you can't pass 72 hours without engaging in. That's amazing, man. But most of us, most of us, this addiction makes us lazy and unproductive. And it's, it's just a, a disgusting cycle because laziness and PMO, they go hand in hand. You're lazy, you're just spending hours and hours browsing on the internet. What does browsing lead to? Browsing leads you back to pornography. That's, that's what we interpret browsing as. That's what we know we used to do every time we would be browsing. That's what we went back to. So... We have to be more productive, you know? We, we, we have no idea just how, how much better our lives could be with some added productivity. One example I'll give is reading. Reading. Reading is something not enough people do. Not enough people are trying to improve their lives by reading. Like one hour a day of reading, right? Just an hour. You put that in one hour a day every day of the year, Seven years from now, if you've been reading books around your chosen field, your career, whatever it is that you're trying to go into, you, you will be a world-class expert. Like, after seven years of one hour a day of reading, you spent over 2,500 hours reading. Like, you're, you're an expert now in whatever it is that you've been reading about. You're up there. There's a reason why all of the, the billionaires and stuff always talk about their reading. Like Bill Gates says if he if he had a superpower, it would be to be able to read books faster. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Warren Warren Buffett reads how many newspapers and etc. before he even has breakfast. Oprah Winfrey, she has a book club. And re reading, that's just one more way that we can increase our productivity. And the more things that we're doing to make our lives productive, the 
less the pull that PMO has over it. Because you're actually starting to enjoy your life. You, you're, you're happy with who you are as a person again. And that's something that PMO can never give you. You know? <sighs> but in making this transition, right, from being lazy, doing not much, not caring about our studies, giving the bare minimum at work for our relationships and so on. We can't just jump to hyper productivity where we're just overloading ourselves. We're, we're studying for 10 hours a day now. We didn't used to study at all. We're, we're giving absolute 110. We're staying late at work and stuff. We're, we're going to burn out. Because I... This, this no, no porn November, I burned out, man. I was shooting videos every single day. I was doing 10, 12 hour shifts. You know, I was, I was exercising. I was going running. I was, ah, got to a point where I burned out. You know, we have to be able to have balance, you know. Like start, start with changes that you can maintain. That you can stick to. Do, do things like, okay, right, what I want to do is exercise. Okay, that's one thing that I want to focus on doing. I, I want to improve my health. I want to go to the gym. So make the habit where five, if, if you want to, okay, say you want to do it three days a week. Three days a week, make the habit, I am going to go to the gym. That's it. Don't, don't say I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to spend two hours there. No, just make the habit where I'm going to put on my workout clothes. I'm going to go to the gym. That is your habit. Regardless of how long you spend there, you've made the habit of, I'm someone that goes to the gym three times a week. That's something that's maintainable. That's something that you can do week in, week out. And then, you'll be able to build on that. Okay, yeah, I've been going to I've go to the gym three times a week. Now I'm going to spend, spend 15 minutes there. Now 20. Now I'm going to spend half an hour. Sooner or later, you'll realize, wow, I've built a proper habit out of this. Like, this is, I'm successfully going to the gym three times a week. I'm doing this. Then you can worry about the frequency and how much more time you're going to spend. But by then, it's, it's something that you do regularly. And something that you can maintain. And that's the key thing. It's not about small bursts of productivity. It's about productivity over a long time period that's consistent yeah, that's consistent that's the word is it that's consistent change just consistent positive change in the right direction you know? and another thing that really helps is as soon as possible in the day do something productive do something that you can say I've done this in the morning that means my day is not wasted you know? like one question you can ask yourself is if I only had one hour today, in this whole 24 hour period, to be productive, what would I do? And do it straight away. Do it right away so you already feel like your day is productive. I'm going in the right direction. I'm doing things to improve my life. It really helps. It really helps. Part of the issue with being productive, right, is that there are so many things that can distract us. Okay, like this phone that I'm shooting, shooting this video on, access to the internet, social media, YouTube, Netflix, games, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of apps that, that aren't really going to help me be productive, right? And we have to cut certain things out. We have to say, okay, for this, for this one hour period, for this two hour period, I'm going to focus on this task. I'm going to put my phone on mute. Anyone that calls me in the next two hours, it, it can't be too urgent. I, 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 I'll deal with it afterwards. My phone is on do not disturb. I'm not going to check WhatsApp. I'm not going to play any games. Nothing. So I'm just going to focus on this task at hand. Then, by the end of that period, the work that you've accomplished, you, you feel good about yourself. Like, yeah, I did this. I wasn't constantly checking my phone. I was engaged with it. I made some progress here. That's how we can be more productive with what we're trying to do.
And we have to have powerful reasons why. <sighs> why are we trying to change our life? You know? Like, this is our lives that we're working on here. Whether it's our health, whether it's our relationships, our career, our studies, everything. Our personal hobbies, things that we want to accomplish, goals, projects that we want to put into action. It's not, eh, I think it'd be kind of nice if, you know, I wasn't terribly skinny. We, we have to go deeper than that. The same way that we need powerful reasons on this journey in order to quit PMO. We need powerful reasons that keep you motivated. Because there's going to be times when you do not want to work. When you don't want to do anything productive whatsoever. You want to be a lazy slob. Like that is, that's a part of us. That's definitely a part of me. You know, a part that does not want to do anything that will rebel. What do you mean you're telling me I have to go to the gym three times a week? Why are we doing this, man? I didn't used to go to the gym. Why are you bothering me? Well, but with those reasons, you can counter that voice again in your head. Like, ah, well, actually, I value my health. You know? And looking a certain way, that would, that would boost my confidence, my self-esteem. I would feel more healthy. I would have more energy. Yeah, that's something I want to do. <sighs> Gotta have powerful reasons. And encourage yourself. Motivate yourself. You know? Use those reasons to do it. And speak to other people as well. Like, ah, oh, yeah, actually, I've I've started, I've joined the gym. You know, I'm doing that. Ah, oh, yeah. You know, I've, I've started studying more. You know, I, I do want to achieve better grades. Share with other people. Help, have them help you on this motivation journey, too. Okay? And it's not going to be easy. It won't be easy going from periods where you're not doing anything to becoming productive now, to working on that change. It's the same way. This is not going to be easy to go from three hours, three times a day of, of PMO, you know, to acting out, to going, wow, it's been 90 days, I haven't touched myself. What's going on? won't be easy but it's so much it's worth it it's worth it to improve our lives to make a real difference it's definitely worth it and that's let's let's leave 2019 with some steps in place that we can say yeah we did work on self-improvement this year i did advance in my streak absolutely thank god and i also advanced in my life i didn't sit around Looking at the counter, saying, okay, when I get to 60 days, that's when I'm going to go make changes. When I make get, get to 90, when I get to 100. No, start now. Start now. Your life is urgent. It needs urgent change. You need to do the work now. We can all do this, brothers. Peace.